prayer. What is prayer to you? For many people, prayer is something, well, here are the most common prayers, statistically speaking. People pray for more money or better health, for loving relationships. Those aren't really prayers for what people desire in life because that would be supplications. That would be asking for something to be fulfilled, which is how most people are defining what a prayer is. And in fact, when you're asking for more money, for more better relationships, for more better health, what are you really doing? I've talked to you about it so many times. You're talking about, you're focusing on what you don't want. If you're asking for money, what's it really saying? I don't have enough money. If you're asking for better health, what's it saying? I don't have good enough health. If you're asking for better relationships, what's missing? Relationships that are fulfilling and loving for you. Those aren't prayers. A prayer isn't a thing. Here's the thing I have about religion, and that's why I'm a metaphysical minister. I do not believe in religion. I remember at one point, I was taking my kids to a certain kind of religious, uh, a certain religious practice, right? A congregation, that's the word. And the person leading it said, you can't pray any way you want to. You have to listen to me and do what I tell you. And it's like, okay, I was having a problem taking my kids there in the first place. And that just put me over the edge. How could anybody believe they have the answer? They know the right way. The fact is, there isn't a law of how you do prayers because prayers aren't spoken. It's a feeling. It's a feeling in your heart. Years ago, I realized that I was connecting to people and thinking about them and they'd come into my world and I would be moved to tears because I felt such deep, such profound love. I felt that. For many, many years, if an ambulance goes down the road, I send love to the person who's needing the care. I send love to the providers to the technicians, to the doctors, to the paramedics. I send love to the whole situation. When there's a crisis, when something awful happens in the world, I feel love going out, not just to the victims, but also to the perpetrators, to the people who caused the pain, who caused the hurts because everybody is one energy and when we live from our hearts and we live from love that's what changes the world what do you do what do you notice about how you see the world how you see a prayer or doing it for yourself. A prayer can be absolute silence. Not even a voice going on in your head, not even a meditation, but just silence. Because that's when you can feel what's going on in your heart. People want to be enlightened. And what do I have? This is a shirt from a very intensive enlightened warrior training camp 
you weren't given this shirt. You had to earn this shirt. We're all born enlightened. And then we get talked out of everything we know that's natural, that's real, that's no barriers, that's no, I'm better than you, or you're better than me. There's no judgment. That's what prayer is. It's a feeling. Are you getting what I'm talking about? You are if you're feeling something in here, not up here. You have five times more messages going here to here than you have going here to here. Live from your heart. You can live your life in a state of prayer. For a long time, I thought, why are people living on mountaintops like in Tibet? Hard to access places. The monks, the young monks and nuns, they're actually practicing love. They're practicing real prayer. How are you practicing prayer? Is somebody telling you what to say? Is somebody telling you how to say it? Or is it something you just feel and just know? Thank you for joining me here today. For Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to join our Facebook group. Ask questions. Tell me what you want to know about. Tell me who you are. I like to know who's watching the videos, who's listening to the audios for our show. You'll find the link in the show notes for joining the Facebook group. You'll find the link in the show notes for finding a web page where you can watch or listen to any of our more than 100 episodes. Life is what you make of it. It's how you live it and where you come from and how you participate in the oneness. There's only one energy. Everything in the world, in the whole cosmos, is one single energy. And when you hear the term, all is one, it's because we really are connected. Do you know that with the world population today, just 8,000 people focusing on one energy, peace, gratitude, love, joy, 8,000 people, that energy goes out and spreads because we are all one and it really does change lives. So never think, I'm just one person, what can I do? You can see statistics from all the times that groups came together. When you were in a room with someone, you ever notice that after a while you're feeling on the same wavelength, that your hearts will start to be in the same kind of rhythm, that you'll feel what the other person's feeling, or you will if you let yourself. A really good way to learn all this stuff is anything by Deepak Chopra and the Isaiah Effect by Greg Braden, who comes from a world of science and puts together science and religion. So those of you who like religion, organized religion, full of ritual, full of being told what to do, you'll find his explanations for those things. Maybe that's what you're interested in. You 
are in control of you. Other people will send energy to control you only when you allow it. When you're coming from your heart, there's such a big field of love and joy going out there. Nothing's going to be able to break through it. Remember that you can pick up a copy of the audiobook of your choice over on Audible with a free 30-day trial where you can see all the magnificent stuff in there and you have 30 whole days to listen to your book to explore. You get to keep the book even if you decide not to continue, but I'll tell you what. I've belonged to Audible for many years, and I get this extra plus catalog every month. So besides the audiobook of my choice, I have courses, I've got special podcasts, magazines, you name it. It's all in there, and it's all free for me to borrow and download and add it to my library. Take a look and see. The link for that is in the show notes. The most important thing to do is live from your heart. And that's what I mean when I remind you to enjoy. That's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because you live your life in here, not out there. It's all happening within. And I'll see you here next time.